Hey YouTube, it's your girl Dr. J and I decided to come and do a quick video because I wanted to tell you guys about a big change that we've made in our math. We are still using um, EPGY math um, more so as a supplement now and I'm going to tell you why. Um, you guys know we were using EPGY and Singapore math as our primary math and those are still really good programs and I really like them. But I really wanted to make a change in our primary math for a couple of reasons. One was because I wanted my kids to really be able to have a little bit more fluency in math, especially um, my uh, boy twin. He seemed to have a little bit of trouble with math fluency, doing math really, really quickly. And my other two, they, were, they do phenomenal in math, but what was happening was they were having a little bit of trouble when it came to writing math problems um, and they were trying to do a lot in their head and making you know simple calculation errors and so I thought I, ne I needed to make sure that they had a little bit more practice in writing math down as opposed to just doing it on the computer so that they can really see their work and, and see their thought process a little bit more and I, I heard a lot of people talking about math mammoth so I decided to go ahead and purchase it and, and look at it and see how it will work for us. And I will tell you guys, I have been really, really thrilled with it. It's working phenomenally with all three of my kids. Um, we've been doing it for a couple months now and it's it's really, really neat. For those not familiar with uh, Math Mammoth, sorry, I'm gonna be moving some papers around. Uh, for those who aren't familiar with Math Mammoth, it is a mastery-based uh, math program as a, as opposed to a strict spiral base. It says it goes a little bit slower than Singapore, but I really haven't found that to be true. And the thing that I like about Math Mammoth is that it is um, it is child led in that the book is designed so that the child actually walks themselves through the steps, so you don't have uh, the parent sitting down and teaching. That actually works well for my kids because my kids really like to understand the thoughts behind um, what they're doing. Another thing that I really like about the program is that it, it teaches various different ways to solve a problem. So, you know, to solve an, an addition problem with, with um, caring, it'll show them four to five different ways to solve that problem. And then after the child is exposed to four or five different ways of solving the problem, then the child makes a, de a decision of which one of those was, was easiest for me. And I love that uh, because I just am a big fan of making sure kids understand a lot of paths to um, an answer, especially in mathematics and really developing mathematical thinking. Um, what I did was I actually um, purchased it through Homeschool Buyers Co-op. And I think they have a sale that's going to be going on with Math Mammoth now, the same sale where you get it for 50% off. And so for that, um, I don't even remember what the price was, but it, it really wasn't that expensive. It's not an expensive program. I got the PDF files. So I have every single, you know, all the way from first grade through their sixth grade math and then their gold series and, and everything that they produce, I have it in PDF files. So I can make as many copies as I need for my kids. So um, I just you know put them in three ring binders and um, what I did with with my kids was I actually um, started them on the level behind where they were uh, just to kind of get a feel for it um, so this is the second grade book um, and that my daughter was doing because she was doing third grade math so um, and I really like it like I said it's, it's designed to be um, you know, the parent is, is active in it, but my children can read the directions and figure it out for themselves. I like that it, it, it's, it's nice because, you know, it starts with a, a little bit of review. And that's my daughter's work for her review. Um, it has word problems. Um, one of the things I like, you know, different ways of doing a hundred numbers chart. And it, it starts in the beginning asking them, you know, do you see the pattern? Do you see the pattern in a hundred numbers chart when you're uh, counting by fives or by sixes or, you know, by, you know, and it says, you know, skip count by two, starting at two up to 30 and then skip count backwards from 99 to 71. And, you know, just, it, it just really has them manipulating numbers in a lot of different ways. Um, it teaches fact families, 
doubling, everything makes a lot of sense. Um, here's uh, the section on fractions. You know, just a really good, um, solid introduction to fractions, simple introduction to fractions. Um, but because it's mastery based, it, it's going to give them a, a little bit of repetition, but it, it's not too much repetition, which I really like. Um, went over things like, you know, just the calendar. I really like the calendar activities um, that were in the book. I like that it that there aren't just a ton of, of um, problems on a page. Um, it's not overwhelming. This was some of the stuff that did on time. You know, there's not a lot of problems on the page, but I, I love the way that the word problems go. Like, this was a word problem on time. Okay, and this is at the second grade level. It says, Jonah goes to the chess club every Thursday. He went today, March 17th. What is the date when he goes next? And so that's, you know, I really like it. It, it's, it's, it has a lot of thinking involved in it, which I think is really good. Um, I... Uh, and, and that's the light blue series. The light blue series is, is the full cur traditional curriculum. This was uh, my oldest. This was his um, third grade book. And, you know, it starts with just, you know, simple review of addition and subtraction. And then, um, again, these are the word problems. And I love the word problems are multiple step. Like, for instance, this is a word problem for, in a third grade book. A store sold 178 blue balls and 149 red balls in one day. At the end of the day, there were 210 blue balls and 239 red balls left. How many blue and red balls did the store start with at the beginning of the day? And I like it because it is a multi-step problem that needs to be solved. Um, and all of the word problems are multiple step. For instance, it says, um, a storage box costs $57 in one store. In another, it costs $12 less. Emily bought two of the cheaper boxes. Find the total bill. And so, you know, you have to do multiple steps to solve that problem. And then uh, it goes over Roman numerals, which I thought was really good. It goes over, um, it starts to introduce, uh, you know, the, the steps for solving um equations um multiplication it's you know on a you know multiplying on a number line and different things like that it, it's it's just a really good really thorough program when you look at math mammoth it can be a little bit confusing because there's just a lot of information it provides the light blue series is the full curriculum that's where you get a full first grade curriculum or a second grade curriculum or a third grade curriculum the curriculums are designed to take up, there's there's an A and a B book for each grade level. So first grade level, there's grade, you know, first grade A, first grade B. Very similar to Singapore. Um, it should take about a year to complete. My kids are, are mathy. They, they're very cerebral. So my kids are on track to probably finish the grade level that they're in. They'll probably finish in about four, four or five months. Um, they're pretty much, um, we've been doing it, like I said, we, we've been doing it about, um, you know, a month and a half, going on two months, and they're most of the way to being finished with the A book, and so they'll start the B book, so they'll definitely be finished with uh, the grade level that they're in um, by summer, definitely by the end of summer, because we, we tend to do a little bit of full um, year-round schooling for us. Um, but a child going at a traditional pace, it'll take about 180 days to go through the entire year. Um, in addition to the light blue series, there's also the blue series. And the blue series, it's just on a topic. For instance, this is the blue series book, a PDF that I printed out, and this is on addition. And it is one where, let's say your child is in the second or third grade, and they are really good with you know, telling time, you know, subtraction, all that kind of stuff, but they're, they're really having a struggle with addition. Well, with the blue series, that's where you just focus on that one thing. So that's where you get mastering that one area. And so it's going to give a lot of practice pages for you to do just in the area of addition. And this one is um, place value. So this is an entire book on 
just on place value, getting mastery in place value. Um, they have entire books on subtraction, multiplication, fractions. So it, it, the, it can be a little bit overwhelming even when you purchase it because there's just so much stuff. But it's working really well. One of the things that I like is that they have tests at the end of each chapter. And as because my kids are really finding their way through it, today I decided to just start to give them the end of chapter test. And if they get 100% on the end of chapter test, we'll just skip those chapters. Because again, um, my kids, they, they, they tend to be real mathy. But it's really good because if, let's say that you don't know exactly where your child is falling, you can always give them, there's a full... There's an end of the year test, and so let's say your child is begin is between first and second grade or second and third grade. You can give them the end of the year second grade test, and if they get 80% on that, then you go, okay, I'm confident I can move them up to third grade. So I really like that about the program. I like that there's an end of chapter test for each book, and sometimes I'll just, you know, like I said, I just started to give them the end of chapter test, and if they get 100%, then we go, okay, well, we don't really need to spend a whole lot of time in this chapter. We can just skip ahead to do some other stuff. Um, I still, like I said, we still do Khan Academy. Um, we implemented that, and so my kids still do Khan Academy about three to four days a week, and they also still do EPGY as a supplement, but Math Mammoth has really um, become our primary math, and I definitely think I'm going to stick with it through um, the sixth grade book. Um, we'll probably st switch to Art of Problem Solving uh, pre-algebra once they finish with sixth grade just because we're doing Khan Academy and we're also still doing Life of Fred. Um, you guys remember though I have a, a STEAM based homeschool so math is a primary focus area for our homeschool so I understand that most families you're not using three to four different math curriculum in your homeschool. We do just because math and science, that's just the nature of our, our homeschooling. So um, Math Mammoth, actually, it feeds in really well for us with Khan Academy, and it feeds in really well with um, Life of Fred. And I use EPGY for their acceleration. So they can, you know, go as far ahead as they want in EPGY, and they can go as far, you know, in Khan Academy, they get to kind of play with some different things that we may not be on, but Math Mammoth has definitely become our primary um, area for math. I just really love the way that it's laid out. It's laid out very practically. It speaks to the child extremely well. It doesn't go um, overboard in spiral. It, go, it, it, it does mastery. And what that means is that your child is going to get depth. So my son that was working at the first grade level, like he can now, like it, it, it got to the point where like he used to struggle with some word problems. And now if I read a word problem out loud, even I started to read him problems in the second grade book. And, you know, I, I would just read him the problem and he could just spill off the answer because it, it taught him numbers and the manipulation of numbers so well so quickly that a child that didn't do mental math for over a year he's now consistently doing mental math where he will just read a word problem and write the answer down and then I'll ask him how did you get that and he knows the steps that he went through but the steps are now automatic for him and that was something that we just did not have that fluency before Math Mammoth has really given him that for my two kids that were, were much more mathy, much more comfortable with math, what it's had them to do is it's required that they slow down and write things out so they're not making as many calculation errors. And they're also really thinking about what they are doing and, and having to process what they're doing. And they're not learning the, the, the system, but um, for instance, the word problems that you get, they don't necessarily cover the information that's being covered in that chapter. So, you know, my kids can spot a pattern a mile away. So with Math Mammoth, they're not able to just trick the system and go, okay, I don't even have to look. All I got to do is look at the numbers and I know what to do with them. No, there's going to be a twist in each of the word problems that they do that really makes them think about what am I supposed to be doing with these numbers. So I love it. It's very efficient, especially if you have multiple children because you can buy one license for those PDFs and you can print out as many as you need for all the children in that household. So where I was buying workbooks for every child for Singapore Math, I can just buy that one license that I have and it's gonna I have everything that I need for all three children all the way up through her pre-algebra 
as well as she has some stuff on the states she has some gold series that goes into you know a little bit higher level stuff i mean it what i got for what i paid was really good money well spent so i can definitely recommend it if you have some questions about math mammoth let me know i still like singapore i'm not saying that i dislike singapore at all singapore is really good really solid but it was moving it, the pace wasn't good for us i didn't um my kids started to to not really like it whereas th they'll actually run to do math mammoth they enjoy math mammoth it's challenging for them it makes them really think there's there's lots of little games that makes it it's like sudoku games are, are built in it and, and a lot of little games that they're they're writing well and so i'm a big fan of it it's been working for us i'll definitely do another update in six months and an update in a year to let you guys know how it's working for us but right now i'm hooked it's phenomenal it's working great um it it, it teaches the thought behind math it doesn't just teach how to do a problem it teaches why what's the thought process here's a lot of different ways to tackle this and then you pick what you like so I love it. The price is right, especially if you get it on the Homeschool Buyers Co-op and get that, you know, full license for PDF downloads. So, hope that helps. If you have any questions, definitely post them and I will um, answer them as quickly as possible. This is Dr. J, and I'm out. Bye-bye.